Vital signs are not only a common aspect of nursing care, but they are extremely important when it comes to monitoring patients and their conditions. Blood pressure is one of the vital signs that can be taken using automatic or manual devices. Although mercury blood pressure devices are not used and practiced frequently because of their mercury content, aneroid auscultating devices are a good manual alternative. Automatic devices, however, are now seen frequently in clinical practice due to their convenience, accessibility, and accuracy. Regardless of blood pressure measurement technique, an accurate measurement is essential for quality patient care and monitoring. Without it, there could be negative effects of unnecessary care and medication given, or even result in failure to see a change in condition due to false blood pressure measurements. Currently, there is no known policy on blood pressure measurement at Bethesda North. Although there was a thorough search done on the process for taking vital signs, including asking the clinical outcomes nurse, there is no standard policy on when to take a manual BP versus an automatic. The outcomes nurse stated that it was up to the, the discretion of the patient's nurses. The reason that this particular topic is important when it comes to practice is because blood pressure makes a difference when it comes to the treatment of the patient. Even something like an arrhythmia can impact the pressure exerted on blood vessels with each beat and an automatic device will not pick up on that difference. Blood pressure is essential when it comes to diagnosing and treating health conditions so it is important that it is accurate. The question generated for this project is as follows. In adult patients in the clinical setting, how do manual blood pressure measurements as opposed to automatic measurements contribute to increased accuracy of blood pressure results? The search for evidence was completed using many methods. The main databases searched included PubMed through the National Institutes of Health, CINAHL, and the University of Cincinnati Library database. The primary source used was the University of Cincinnati Library. The keywords used in the search included blood pressure, automatic, manual, adults, and accuracy. These keywords were determined by the, using the context of the PICO question and what was relevant. The search was limited to papers written in 2010 or later and studies that were in English only. Four major articles were found to support the question asked. All four articles appraised were quantitative research studies. One was a systematic review, two were non-experimental comparative studies, and one was a quasi-experimental study. All of the studies compared automatic and manual blood pressure readings in adult patients in clinical settings. Overall, there was one level 2 article rated as good quality and three level 3 articles with two being good quality and one being high quality. Our recommendation would be that further research is necessary in order to make a clinical practice change. The conclusion made was that the evidence provided was good, but conflicting. Since the unit at Bethesda North has no official blood pressure policy, it is neither supported nor unsupported. While one study concluded that automatic devices are suitable for clinical use except in patients where a manual blood pressure would be necessary, another study determined that the difference in automatic and manual measurements is not clinically significant. The third study concluded that automatic devices eliminate bias, therefore becoming the recommended source. The final study, on the other hand, proved that the device used does not matter, but the method should be consistently used for that individual patient each time a pressure is taken. There is obvious inconsistency in the results and the best response would be to further investigate the PICO question and current practice. In this way, healthcare providers can make sure that any future change in practice is grounded in evidence that provides for the best possible patient outcomes.